Genre Narrative Nonfiction Narrative Nonfiction tells about real people and real events in the form of a story. How a kite changed the world. Wayne pours from the sky in sheets. Thunder crashes all around, and the flash from lightning shines on one brave man battling the storm. Who could this brave man be? None other than our very own Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin believed that thunderclouds carried electricity and that lightning was a large flash of electricity. He wondered if electricity could be useful and if it could how. Benjamin Franklin also wanted to find a way to protect houses from getting hit by lightning. That is why one stormy night, Benjamin Franklin stood in the middle of a field, holding a kite. On that famous night, Benjamin Franklin held a kite with a metal rod about a foot lamp placed on top of it. Benjamin Franklin believed that this rod would catch lightning. He tied a metal key and to the string of the kite. If his theory was right, the electricity would travel to the key. Benjamin Franklin took, took the kite to an open field. When the wind started to blow, he let the, he let the kite fly. He watched the kite and waited. Benjamin Franklin was starting to get tired and he began to think that his plan was not going to work. Then he noticed that some loose bits of the of kite string were standing very straight. It was working. He touched the key with the back of his hand and felt a shock. Electricity had passed from the from the cloud to the kite to the key. This was not the end of Benjamin Franklin's deaths of electricity. He turned his house into a laboratory by putting lightning bells in place. The bells rang when lightning was nearby. Benjamin Franklin fixed a tall metal rod on his roof to attract the lightning. The rod would attract the electric current in the electric current in the air and travel through a wire in his home. Small bells and brass balls hung from the wire. When when clouds passed when clouds passed with electricity in them, the balls would strike the bells. The bells would ring, and the flash of electricity would travel between them. From his experiments with the lightning bells, Benjamin Franklin hoped to show that placing a lightning rod on the roof of building of a building might save it from damage. If the lightning rod would attract li- lightning, if the lightning rod would attract lightning for for Benjamin Franklin's experiments, then the rod would could also re- redirect lightning away from buildings. At first, many people were interested in Benjamin Franklin Franklin's discoveries, but they did not. Uh, Say, stay interested for a long time. To most people, watching his deaths was like watching a show. The sparks, lightning, and bells were were fun to look at, but people didn't understand why electricity was important. With time, people began to pay more attention to ideas about electricity and how it may 
benefit their lives. Before Benjamin Franklin and his kite, people, people knew very little about lightning and electricity. Benjamin Franklin took something found in nature, electricity, and explored everything about it. Today, today, every time we turn on a light, we know that Benjamin Franklin's ideas about, about electricity was right. Imagine that the, the Imagine that Benjamin Franklin didn't discover electricity. How would life be now? Hope you enjoyed and learned something new. Bye bye.